So what I've done there is I've just scooched all of the ones I've designed already up to the top and then this is the second half here or the last part and um, I still need to design quite a bit of this. So there's probably about another, I don't know, six runs to get in there and so um, now I can see what needs to be done and they're not all dripping off the bottom of the board. So I've got loads of um, the colours I want to use. It's going to come down purple down here and then um, I've got quite a lot of grey so somehow or other I've got to get that green into grey and a few browns. So looking at it like this now I might move quite a lot of this around but also what I'm doing is I'm actually making a few more at the sewing machine that are, will fit in exactly the places that I need them to be. Uh, and so uh, and these last two runs here, they need to be uh, designed as well. So it's going to be um, a, a something like 26 down by 24 across, something like that. But I'd quite like it to be square. So it might be 26 by 26. We'll see. So that's what I'm going to be doing next then, is that. Making a few more that fit in exactly, spot ones. Looking and saying, you definitely don't belong there. Taking that out, putting it in down there. So I'm going to be shifting them around now. Grayscaling them a lot so that I can see exactly where's where. And not minding too much if a if a stark contrast between one colour and the and the other creates a bit of a straight line. So um, I'm going to be doing that for the rest of this morning, I think. So I've done the maths, and I'm ten blocks short. Annoyingly, I really want the the quilt to be nine by nine, because that feels like a good size to me. Lay down next to it on the floor, and I can imagine lying under it at that size, it'd be nice and cosy. So I am gonna to have to make some more blocks, but I'm going to Kate's house later in the week and I've got some strips left. So I will get making these today and then like, going to Kate's house tomorrow in fact. So I will get these made today and then tomorrow I can be putting them up on the design board. I'm really pleased with how they're coming together. You might have noticed that I haven't got any more blocks that are just that colour on the on this side and that's because when I was editing the video actually to be honest when I was putting the blocks up on the design board at Kate's house I was like I hate this so much <laughs> which I'll talk about with Kate a bit tomorrow because she's had the same thing with designing quilts before so it'll be interesting to, to chat to her about that so now it's just all this colour here, which I feel like when I see it on camera, it looks a lot brighter than it is. It's just actually a really pale, soft, greeny blue, which I really like. And I think it lets these more funky colours on the other side really sing, which I like. <laughs> so yeah, I better get sewing. I'll, uh, I'll see you at Kate's house. I'm sewing these terry blocks together now. I call them terry blocks because it was Terry Rowland where I first saw this particular quilt. I've talked about that. And I want to explain to you what it is I'm doing here because there's a very particular way to sew these together. But I, it's not that I'm the expert at this. I would encourage you to go and have a look at Terry's videos and I'll leave a link to her channel below this video so that you can go and have a look at the originator of this idea. I really, really liked it and having designed it all, I've now put it into piles like this in my uh, um, little tray beside me, pinned the number onto the top piece and now I'm sewing them all together. Now, one thing that Terry says is a good idea to do, if you look at the way these blocks are constructed, I'll not get them out of order, that one first, then that one. If you can see that, there's three uh, there's seams coming together there. Well, two seams there making three pieces. And then this one is one piece. And Terry says that it's a good idea if you don't sew the two long pieces together or the two 
um, broken up pieces together but if you sew them a bit like a log cabin if you sew them uh, at angles so that's what I'm going to do it was that one next wasn't it so this one has got um, a long piece here and now I'm going to sew that one to there and this one has got a long piece here so I'm going to sew the ends to that one it's quite easy. I started off when I was designing it by placing them like that, but you don't need to do that. You can twist them around as you're sewing them together. It's much, much easier. And so this webbing idea, which I've used before on small blocks, but I've never used it before on anything this big. And I know it's not a new idea. Lots of people out there do it. Uh, Quiltville, um, Bonnie does this, and uh, lots of other people do this. But I'm going to show you now what now that I've got to the end just get my little thread bunny which is just a piece of scrap fabric that I sew so that I can keep the th the cotton on, on, on the fabric there but now it just keeps your sewing moving thread bunnies now I'm going to show you what it looks like it looks a bit unwieldy <laughs> it's very big quilt this one it's got over 600 blocks in it. And well, there's my other thread bunny. So if you're wondering what I'm meaning by thread bunnies, I just use a piece of scrap fabric that I run over the machine, the machine over, so that it keeps the fabric moving and you don't waste a lot of, of thread. So that was number 14 that I've put on there. And now I wonder if you're going to be able to see a sense of this now. Everything's been string pieced together absolutely beautifully. And so the whole thing looks like this and you can see the wonderful colour wash going through the whole quilt. And then when you get to the top, you've got the numbered ones here. So I know that I've got the bundle that is called 15 coming next. But I just love how this looks. I really do. And so what's going to happen to this next then, once I've sewn all my bundles together and there are 23 rows all together, then I'll fold it in half along the, the chain piecing and sew those two edges together and that will be a quilt top. It's a fabulous way of, of, uh, of sewing to keep everything in order. And I, it is the way that I sewed the seed packet quilt together as well. Uh, and so it, I suppose it's not my first time doing it but um, this is the biggest one I've ever done like this. It does mean you've got a lot of stuff hanging about on the floor and so now I need bundle number 15. I just need to make sure that that's pinned on like so and I keep it exactly as it's stacked right next to me here and then just sew them on twisting them round so that they fit into this little tiny design element. I'm really excited about this. I think it's coming together absolutely brilliantly. And I do like it before I do the second part of the webbing. But I'm going to crack on and finish this now. I'm on 15. As I say, I've got 23 of these uh, in my uh, trolley beside me here. And so that's my afternoon sorted. It always helps to have your glasses on if you wear them, don't you think? So I've finished webbing all one direction and before I fold each row over and sew it to its neighbour I just love the way it looks when it floats in the breeze and so I couldn't resist bringing it down to the treehouse. Uh, there's uh, maybe two more over this edge here 
but that's pretty much the size of it and I love how it looks I'm very pleased with it loads and loads of little tiny bits of fabric all stitched together in a very particular way <laughs> so I'm really really pleased with it but the next job now is to sew each of these long lines to each other and then I'll have a quilt top and it'll still move and look beautiful but it won't move quite as much as this is doing <laughs> I'm Kate and this morning I'm expecting my daughter-in-law Anna and we're going to be working on um, the quilt that she's been making with that fantastic spoonflower fabric and I'm going to be looking at where I've got to with my terry blocks and so I'm just getting the sewing room ready now those videos the first few videos I'll leave a link in the description below with the to the playlist that's all about the making of the quilt up to this stage but I'm just getting the room ready so that we've got a nice clear workroom to work in and I've got this thing for taking the threads off my design board so those after quite a lot of use those little threads just get stuck onto here and a lot of people ask me about my design board so I'll just quickly say that it's two pieces of polystyrene styrofoam I guess in some countries and um, covered over with something called bump which is curtain lining here in the UK and it's a little bit furry and so what happens is if you've got a piece of fabric like this one and you want to do some designing you can just pop it on like that and it sticks on in place oh I think I've just heard the door go that'll be Anna it just sticks on uh, so that you can reposition hi Anna come in Hiya! How's it going? It's going great. I'm just telling the YouTube friends about the design board and oh. how useful it is. Because Come in and put your... Um... Hello! <laughs> I wasn't yeah. expecting you to be No, that's fine. <laughs> no, no, she's just arrived with her sewing machine ah, and her yeah. box of bits and pieces. Oh, sorry, the... just burst in, Rooney video. <laughs> <laughs> but I was just explaining about how the um, design board, which I've just been cleaning, Anna. Yeah. Do you want to carry on and do that half of it? Yeah, yeah. I'm just going to put Frank, my dog, upstairs. Okay, Frank's come. come. Oh, it's all chaos all of a sudden. <laughs> I'll explain. Yeah. So little bits of threads get stuck on there and I'm cleaning them off. But the ability of fabric to cling onto there, I think you'll be seeing Anna doing that soon. I think that's what she's going to be doing this morning. Because she's got to a certain point in her quilt. Are you back? Oh, yeah. Come on in and tell <laughs> us what you're going to do today. Oh, um, <laughs> are you all right? Yes, yeah, yeah. It's just turned up. I'll put Get the kettle on. Get that little Frodo. I'll okay. next well, you, you, Here we go. I step forward and you step back. And now we're in proportion. <laughs> Do a little dance. <laughs> <laughs> the dance um, of the hobbits. Um, plan today. Yes, and so I'll put the mm -hmm. kettle on in a minute. But you tell yeah. folk what we're doing. We are going to finish my quilt top. We're going to talk about quilts. We are. We're going to catch up on Terry. Yes. Kate's um, Terry block quilt. My Terry block on. quilt which I've been loving by the way yeah and I'm really interested to see where you've got because Anna took it home with the machine yep and I haven't seen it for a while yes it's changed quite a bit <laughs> oh I'm looking forward to that then yeah and, but clearing the board off for you so you've got mm, a good ooh, clear yeah, board I know Lovely. And, yeah it is okay isn't it mm. uh, so I'll get the rest of these threads off okay. and you get us sorted all right well I'll get set up shall I yes please so for the purposes of this video, I'm sitting mm. on a slightly higher chair than Anna. <laughs> yeah. so, uh, so Anna's ironed all of her fabric um, mm. blocks now. How many are there? Uh, I don't know. I've, I've forgotten. 70. How many are there in there? Yeah. 74. Yeah. <laughs> 74. Stop counting after a while. Okay. But what I'm interested to see is that the last time we saw these blocks, this side here 
had a lot more going on. Yes. So I want you to describe your process. Okay. <laughs> well, yeah. So in the, in the last video, when I was putting them up on the board, as I explained a little bit earlier when I was at my house, I gave a little explanation for it. Um, I just really hated it. <laughs> I was like thinking in my head, like trying to smile and be like, oh, this is going really well. <laughs> but in my head, <clears throat> excuse me, I was like, oh my gosh, I've done this so badly. How have I made this quilt so terrible? And then um, <laughs> snuck them home and didn't tell you. you. Didn't tell me. Yeah, and then spent a very Kate like weekend because Johnny was away just sewing and just replacing all of the sides with this fabric with just the same. So now every <clears throat> large triangle is the same fabric. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and are you happy with them now? Yeah, much happier. I just, it, I hadn't thought, because I don't know, don't know much about quilting, I hadn't thought about how if you change that it would make a secondary pattern. Everything yeah. would be different. And it made a weird Whereas secondary Whereas now pattern. this has got a lovely regularity to mm -hmm. it. Yeah. She is turning into me, is she not, <laughs> YouTube friends? <laughs> We're not sure if this is a good idea. <laughs> but it's interesting because afterwards, after dinner, I told Kate after after the weekend had passed. She did. <laughs> I was telling you though, because it was like, because Johnny was away and I just felt, <laughs> and I was doing it in a very like intense way. Then I had some dinner and I was like, oh, I'll have a glass of wine with dinner. And then I did. And afterwards I was carrying on quilting, but in like a very like warm. Very haphazard way. <laughs> haphazard so, some, way. so some of these aren't quite a quarter of an inch. Though. No, probably not. But yeah, it was quite an intense weekend. Okay. But then you were telling me that that you have this. Happens every time I make a quilt. Yeah. Uh, um, not with this one and not with Agnes's quilt. So that's oh, the that's exception that proves a rule. Yeah. Why do you think that is? I love this. Yeah. It's just because you really love And there really was never it. a time when I was putting it together that I thought, this is going badly wrong. Oh, okay. That's interesting. I never thought that. Because they, they, Agnes's was so slow and this has been quite a fast one It has one been quite together. quick coming together. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I think, all right then, to properly address that, mm. um, I did have to make a few more blocks mm. in particular colours. Because to start with, I just made blocks, 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 blocks. And then when I was putting them together, I couldn't get from one colour to the next because it was too big of a leap. Mm. So I went back to the sewing machine and made maybe a dozen more blocks intentionally in those colours. Right. And that actually made me move more seamlessly from one place to the next. Mm. I mean, there still are some great big areas of... Um, of colour that what I was trying not to have is a line where one colour stopped and the next colour started and it was very very obvious yeah I didn't want that I wanted it to be more of a wash that must be really hard to achieve well it is and that's why I had to make a few and, and there still are maybe you know some lines this quilt layout is as varied as the number of people who make it Give these blocks to someone else and you would get a completely different quilt. And I love that. Yeah. So, no, but there's often a time in every quilt that I make, we've talked about this, mm. where I get to the realisation that, why am I making this? I don't actually like this at all. Mm. And um, and then I come through the other side of that. And you've come through the other side of that now, haven't you? I have, you? yes. Well, well, it's, it's an interesting process, though, isn't it? You've got to kind of work out what is it that I really don't like about and, this now. And then I always go back to, well, why did I start this in the first place? Mm. Um, with some of those quilts that I've decided, I really don't like this, I can't change it by changing the layout, or it's too late now, I've committed all this time and fabric to it. Mm. But then, if you burn through that, push through that, you yeah. get to the back to the point where you think, oh, I remember why I made this. Yeah, and that's, that's lovely. Nice. That's yeah. really lovely. So I'm going to take this. We've had this behind us the whole time we've been talking. I'm going to take this mm. down now because I'm going to start thinking about backings. Mm. Uh, well, you, <clears throat> so you, you're thinking free spirit. I'm thinking something funky. And, yeah. And uh, you can get an extra wide backing, which is 108 mm. inches. Okay. And it's quite limited. Uh, but if you don't get that, you have to join it. I don't mm. think it's the end of the world if you have to join it. Because you could do some of those, right? Exactly. It's an opportunity to do something a little bit um, lovely up the back where maybe mm. I'll put some of the some of these terry blocks up the back to join the two pieces. So I've got my head around that at the moment, mm -hmm. thinking about that. I know how big it is now. Mm -hmm. I'll take this down and then you're going to put this on the board. Yeah, that'll be fun. Yeah. And then start sewing them together, <laughs> yes. finally. <laughs> yeah, uh, absolutely. So we're yeah. going to have two finished quilt tops by the end of this video. Yeah. There you are. No pressure, Anna. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Excellent. Let's well, do it. Let's charge up the tea. <laughs> it's a very hot day to be drinking up. tea, isn't no, it? No, I think tea's very refreshing on a hot day. 
I sometimes think that, but today I'm feeling... You're not thinking that. It is very warm today. And people often say, what kind of tea do I drink? That's mm. another question I see in the comments a lot. Yeah. And I drink a tea called Ruibos tea, or Red Bush tea, which mm -hmm. is from South Africa. Mm, it's it's really got good. no caffeine in it, which I like about it. I can drink yeah. gallons of it without it affecting me. Yeah. And I drink it very weak and black. Mm -hmm. And me so too. that's that's what we have. Yeah. So I'm going to take my quilt down now, Anna, and you're going to put your quilt up. Yep, sounds good. We've got good. lots of pins here. All Let's right. do it. Yeah. There's a pin in the middle there. If you can get that one as well. Just come along. There it is. And then I'll take this from you. Thank you very much. No worries. Sorry. I figured out in the last bit I recorded at home how many across it was, and I've forgotten it already. Well, put them up and see yeah. what it, so you've got. I think it was ten. Try that. Yeah. If it's ten, make it go much higher. Yeah, okay. Because you'll not get them in. Okay. Kate found um, Kate found the way that I measured it by lying down next to it really funny. <laughs> she was laughing at me. Oh, I just have to come back in and talk about that. <laughs> so Anna really showed me. me. Anna showed me the little bit of video that she made where she was trying these blocks out on the carpet at home because Anna hasn't yet got a design board. I think maybe one day you will have, yeah? Yeah, I think so. I think so too. She's really turning into a proper quilter. And so I was watching the, the raw footage that before Anna starts to edit it so that we could decide what to leave in and what to take out. And, and, and she lies, you'll have seen her do it. She lies down on the carpet next to the quilt and I'm thinking... <laughs> What's she doing? What is, what's this moment all about? And and then she explained. And of course, she wanted to see if she was uh, going to fit underneath this quilt. I thought that was utterly adorable. And I've been. Uh, it's been a coming back into my mind ever since. And I'm just having this lovely, heartfelt smile about that. I hope you enjoyed that bit as well. I thought that's just how you did it, you know. <laughs> Not less is more, but more is more. <laughs> I've never been able to master the temptation to add more to stuff. Cooking the same, and so if um, if something, if chilli's nice in something, well then a lot of chilli's really nice, isn't it? <laughs> How about that one? That's Anna Maria Horner. Ooh, and that's massive. That's cool. Yeah. I like that. I do. Are you going to order some, or are you just going to go for it? I'll go for it. <laughs> These are all extra wide, there's a lot more. Some extra wides. Seven and a half inches, so there'll be seven inches finished. Mm -hmm. And so seven by whatever you just said will give you that size quilt. Yeah. Shall we work that out rather than just ducking that one? Yeah, okay. So seven inches finished, how many across? Nine. So seven, I've got a great way of doing my seven times, so 62 inches wide okay and, and then eight so um no it's eight across and nine down sorry so, okay <laughs> so i'm gonna write this down yeah yeah let's I do it on paper we'll do it on paper that needs to be short yeah nine by eight so it's nine by the well, you can get your quilt planning notebook or is that at home that's at home yeah nine hopefully. by eight and so and it's seven inches finished mm -hmm. okay and so at seven uh, what did i just say 64, 64 inches that way and 56 inches that way. So it's 56 by 64 mm -hmm. finished size, okay. which is lovely. It's a lovely size. So once you've decided that you like the layout of this mm -hmm. and you can carry on and fiddle on for a little bit longer. Yeah. But then are you wanting to sew it together like I did the terry blocks in yeah. that webbing way just yeah, to I keep everything so. in order? It looks I'll show fun. you how to, it is fun. Yeah. I'll show you how to number them. Okay, thank you. It's very, very simple. And then I can just take them home and sew them together at home. Maybe. You can. Absolutely you can sew them together today, whatever yeah. you want to do. Okay. You've got a clear um a clear workroom now. Yeah. So you can do that. Okay. So you just fiddle on then and make yeah. sure you've got the layout you like. I'll show you how to do the numbering. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And then I think we'll get back next time with a quilt top each, backing, wadding, pinning out, 
and hand stitching. Yeah. Because you're going to hand quilt this, aren't you? Definitely. And I'm going to hand quilt mine. Oh, those are going to be some fun days, aren't they? Yeah, that'll be lovely. Yeah. In on a when it gets a bit um a bit more autumnal. autumnal. Yeah. Yeah. That'll be lush. So I'm going to get you to get to the stage where you're committing to it now. Okay. Oh. And um, <laughs> well, that word, the C word. <laughs> yeah. We're all a bit afraid of commitment, aren't we? <laughs> well, it depends. Well, sometimes when I get to this stage and I'm moving it, I'm thinking. Why did I move that one? It was fine where it was. Yeah. What difference has it made? Yeah. And so you can keep moving the deck chairs around on the Titanic, although this isn't going to sink. No. <laughs> right, I'll let her carry on and do that. Thank you. So all the time Anna's been laying out her quilt there, I've been looking on uh, the Cotton Patch website, which is where I buy most of my fabric from, to see if I could find the quilt backing that I might use. And um, I like that one, for instance. Uh, and so I, what I've done is, I, in my basket, I've just put into my basket all the ones that I liked, which I don't think you can see, but so there's that jumble fabric, which I really liked. And then, um, I haven't decided, but the, what's coming out on top at the moment is this one. I like that one very much. And so I might use that as the backing fabric. I have not decided yet, though. Um, but that's what I've been doing while Anna's been laying out her quilt top. I'll have made a decision before the end of the day. Let's try that. OK. So... We're getting there, but I think I need Kate to be like the fabric equivalent of like proofreading it. Oh, okay. So I'm trying to make sure I haven't got like colour cut. Do you know what I mean? So a second pair of eyes. Yeah, just making making sure the patterns are spread out. Okay. So it, you've spent a good while mm -hmm. organising them how you want them, and yeah. really what you're looking for is 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 glaring repeats. Re um, mis you know. Yeah. Where they flashy. Well. I think they all look fab, and I don't... Th so, I'll tell you what we'll do. Grayscale. We'll put it into grayscale. Yep. So, I'll, I'll just come round this side of the table so I can get where you guys are, yeah. and I'll photograph it. Yeah. This mono is called on this phone here. And so, I'll say done, and then I'll pass it over to Anna. Thank you. Very kind. I don't think you're going to find any problems with that. Didn't help that I stood with my shadow in front of it, did it? No, it's fine, isn't it? You're not seeing anything there that you don't like. No, no, no. That looks good. Okay. Well, then the next thing then. Is but can you not? Can you see any like? What I've been trying to no, avoid I is can't. like pink, pink, or like or the, like that there. You see, is that fine? That's fine. Do you think? Or do you think they're, I should? They're too similar. That? Yeah. Soon I'm gonna have to make her stop, aren't Drag I? Drag me away. I am. So how many rows are there across? Um, uh, eight across, nine down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And so now what Anna's going to do is if you take one and put them all the way on top of each other so that you've got a pile of ones. Yeah. Then a pile of twos, a pile of threes. Mm -hmm. And then when she's done that, I'll explain very simply what it is uh, she's going to do. That's it. And you can't get them mixed up because when you get to the second pile, it'll have a two written on it. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, they look pleasing like that. Okay, so in that last one together. Okay, so now you've got your columns mm -hmm. here now, two, three, put them all in that kind of order. And uh, simply, when you're sewing these together, mm -hmm. uh, get pile number one and pile number two. Yeah. And then un unclip them. Yeah. And then sew one to two. Uh-huh. And then the next one and two together. Yeah. 
and then the next one and two together and leave the threads in the chain piecing mm -hmm. and when you get to the end of that you'll have two columns all chain pieced together yeah and there'll be one and two and then you get three and do the same four and do the same okay yeah, and yeah. that will work absolutely brilliantly cool and just keep the chain piecing together yeah the only thing to be aware of and this has happened to me a couple of times because sometimes i'm rattling away sewing them together and then my bobbin thread runs out okay and so you can have been sewing fresh air for a bit and then your blocks might get out of order ah, okay. and so not to obsess about that Checking. but just to be every now and then just check that you're still sewing stitches yes. and not fresh air mm -hmm. but then and then you'll have the quilt top all um, you remember how you yeah. saw it on the on the treehouse, the it terry quilt? It's so quilt? beautiful, doesn't it? I know, it? I really quite liked it like that. In fact, I'm thinking, wouldn't it be nice to make some curtains like that? And just keep, keep and them keep like them that. And keep them in one, oh, yes. one direction. You should totally do that. It'd be fun, wouldn't it? Yeah. But not that I've got any room for curtains anyway. <laughs> but So that's it now. Pile those up like so. Uh -huh. And um, get a good audio book on the go. Mm -hmm. in, your, in your headphones there. And any is does, is that clear? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I might. What I might do is do one to two here, and yeah. then take them home, and then do all the rest at home. Yeah. Okay. And Just that's so a good can, idea. You can do that. Check that I'm doing it no, right. No, I've not done the webbing before. I like. I've, I've You've seen, seen me you do, do it, it, haven't yeah. you? Yeah. And so, the and the only so checking you haven't run out of bobbin thread. That's a given. Mm -hmm. But the other thing as well, and I've mentioned this before, mm -hmm. is that when you're sewing one to two. You won't be able to do this on any other blocks because there'll be two together already. Yeah. So you will get three on two. But when you're doing it to start with, make sure you've got one to two and not two to one. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, okay, yeah. so if yeah, you yeah. pick them up wrong, you can sew two to one. Now, in this case, I don't think you would notice because they're very, similar. very similar looking. Yeah. But I've done it where I've had an actual design in the past and I've sewn two to one instead of one to two. So just mm -hmm. be aware that you've, when you pick the first two up, Mm -hmm. And you get a system where they're next to each other and you can't pick the wrong ones up. Mm -hmm. okay. it, and after that, it's quite plain, plain sailing. Mm -hmm. And then you know you've seen me do it. You flip it round and sew the others together. Yep. Okay, Anna, so do you feel like you've got a, um, a clear idea about what you're doing now? Yeah, I think so. Okay, well... I might just do... Um, so one and two together here so okay. you can see... Okay. I'm not like doing it completely well. Okay. I've never trust, done... your, I, I, trust your instincts because yeah. I think you're going to be fine. And then I'll take these home and I'll, I'll finish them off. Okay. So thanks so much for watching. Next time you see this project, uh, we'll be uh, on a complete finish, won't we? Yeah, absolutely. And, and so thank you very much for watching and uh, subscribe if you want to and click yeah. the notifications bell and then you won't miss when we're next going to do this. And thanks again to Spoonflower. Oh, massive thanks to Spoonflower, who provided all this fabric for Anna. So kind. It was really kind, and it's lovely fabric. Yeah, it is. I'm so thrilled with it. Yeah, me too. So thanks a lot, guys, and we'll see you next time with something else. But we'll see you next time with this quilt, when we've both of us got a, um, a quilt to, quilt to, to stitch. Yeah? yeah. Bye. <laughs> Fabulous. Thanks a lot now. Bye. <laughs>